Fox 55 Sports. This is The Locker Room. Welcome once again inside the locker room. Joined as always by my partner, Peter Hood. My name is Justin Prince, and we got a jam packed show for you tonight. Comets opening their season on the road. We'll get you ready for girls' basketball regionals and much, much more. But, Pete, we begin with boys' hoops and perhaps the best game in the entire state of Indiana tonight. Stock go down right here in the Summit City. By the way, almost wore that shirt tonight. Hey, glad. Would, uh, have, would have been embarrassing. For those who don't know, we both we have identical shirts, and we matched one time. Maybe good. you watched it. I hope you didn't know. Uh, yeah, according to the latest Sagarin ratings, Blackhawk Christian and Indianapolis Cathedral are ranked third and sixth, respectively, regardless of class in the state. Tonight, those two talented teams squaring off in a game that is sure to get both squads ready for the state tournament, which Prince begins in less than three weeks' time. Time's ticking down. Yeah. So with that, let. With that being said, excuse me, let's take you over to Blackhawk. Caleb first and company welcoming the Irish to town. And it was Blackhawk throwing the first blow tonight. First quarter, Zane Burke finds Marcus Davidson for three of his 11. Welcome back, Marcus. Yeah. A few possessions later, pass goes inside to Caleb first for the bucket. You can give him the foul, too. Put him on the line. 21 points for the Purdue commit. Braves go up 10, and then just before the end of the first ha first quarter, Zane Burke steps into the three off the screen from first. Game high 25 from Zane. Blackhawk up 12 after one, but the Irish would flip the script in the second. There's Jackson Edwards banking home the 15-footer. 20 points, 13 boards on the night for Edwards. Deficit down to just six. Cathedral would end up taking a three-point lead to half. They outscore Blackhawk by 15 in the second quarter. The Irish would hand Blackhawk just their second loss of the year, 86-78, the final. Vincent Brady leading the way with 24. Braves drop to 17-2 and on the season. Uh, mentioned earlier, those two teams ranked top six in the state, according to Sagrin. Here's your number one team in the state. Homestead still unbeaten, hosting Concordia tonight. First quarter, Luke Goody. Go, go ahead and say hello to the people, Luke. Hello. Future member of the Fighting Illini finished with 14 tonight. Uh, cadets, cadets trying to do their best to hang around. Brandon Davis blowing by Fletcher Lawyer all the way to the rack for two. Concordia down just five at that point, but Lawyer has an answer on the other end. Prince, check out this little step-through move from the Purdue commit. Ooh, that's pretty. Beats the buzzer as well. Game high, 28 for Lawyer. Casual. Homestead rolls 88-40. Yeah, he, he scores in his sleep. Homestead rolls 88-44. Spartans moved to 21-0 on the season. Prince, they got just one game left. It's at Carroll next Friday. I think we know what our game of the week is going to yep. be. Yeah, speaking of Carroll, over to Mark Sheff Gymnasium. The Chargers visiting Northrop, looking to keep pace atop the SAC. Late third quarter, Chargers with a big lead. Northrop trying to cut into it. James Mallory gets the board and the stick back. Put him on the line, too, but 
Just no problems for Carroll tonight. Fourth quarter, Jalen Jackson, you're going to see him bully his way in for two of his game high. 26, 10 boards on the night for him, too. And then, while well, this is just kind of the night it was for Carroll, Cody Berkey, no on the three, but off the rebound, falling out of bounds. Well, it goes right back into his lap. 13 points on the night for Berkey. Chargers cruise 65-42. Never save the ball underneath your own bucket, yeah, kids. Don't do it. Uh, over at Bayhay Arena, Briante Johnson and Northside Prince, they started the season 4-8. and eight. They can get back to 500 with a wow. win over Bishop Dwanger tonight, and there's Tay-Tay doing his thing per usual. Johnson finishes with 16 points on the evening. Xavier Allen, though, he was feeling it tonight for Dwanger. Here's one of his five threes, wow. ties the game midway through the second quarter. Allen goes for a team-high 18 points, but wasn't enough. Off the rebound, Isaiah Moore takes it coast-to-coast coast for two of his game-high 19. Legends take this one 72-65. Prince North has now won five of its last six. They're hot. Yes, they sure are. Over to Kilmer Court we go. Snyder back at home hosting Bishop Lewers tonight. And no problems for the Panthers, really. Already up big in the second quarter. Elijah Brown gets the roll inside. Ten points on the night for him. You like his game. I do. I really do. Yeah. He's a, he's a good-looking player. Later in the quarter, Carson Jenkins and Jade Moore play a little give-and-go. It results in a three for Moore. 22 points for number 24. And then you're going to see the nice cut here by Karen Billingsley. And the better find from Aiden Lambert. That puts Snyder up 17. They cruise tonight. 94-51, your final. Final stop in the SAC comes at Don Riker Gymnasium. Southside playing host to Wayne tonight. Pick it up second quarter. Archer's already up a pair. Good ball movement. Three ball, Austin Jordan. Ring it up. Put Southside up by five. Other end, you're going to see Javon Lewis get trapped, but able to find Christian Flanagan out of the double team. Flanagan gets his defender in the air and finishes. Deficit back down to three. This one prints back and forth all night, but Jalen Lattimore was a problem the generals were unable to solve. 19 points, 12 boards for Lattimore as the archers move to five and three in SAC play. 60-54 your final. Hey, to Leo, we go. Any eight title on the line for the Lions as they host Columbia City. Pick this one up tight, middle of the third. Lions start to pull away. That's Blake Davis and the Indiana Tech commit with a game high 28 from three there. A couple possessions later, DJ Allen working the block, gets the buckets, plus the foul. Then Davison. This time, the pass to Xavier Middleton. Middleton. Knocks it down. Leo goes on to run away with this one tonight. 69-52, your final. Lions clinch the NEA title outright. Easy looks tonight and had some fouls. Got ourselves in uh, foul trouble a little bit, which hurt us. And uh, we just have to be, uh, you know, we, we talk about chasing perfection. You're not going to get it, but that's what we're chasing. And if we can stop them, then we're confident enough in our offense that if we get good stops on defense, we have a good chance to win. It just, I just felt good, and I, I'm trying not taking any bad shots. Just if I'm open, might as well shoot it. If I'm open, I might as well shoot hey, it. Hey, if I were that kid, I'd, I'd shoot it all the time, too. Hey, congrats to the Lions. Elsewhere in the NE8, Belmont Prince uh, having a solid season thus far. Braves 10-6 yep. and six record coming into tonight's game against DeKalb. This one was the game of the night in the area. It sure was. Cole Richmond three ball ties the game up at 22 in the second quarter. Other end, Braves get it inside to John Ullman. You're going to see him finish off the glass. Puts Belmont up one. This one back and forth all night. You're going to see Isaiah Wellman work his way into the lane and drop home the floater. Braves go on to win in triple overtime Woo! tonight. 57 56, your final. They got their money's worth down in Decatur. They must be tired. Yeah. Staying in Adams County, a rivalry renewed down at the hangar in Monroe. South Adams paying Adams Central a visit. Flying Jets out and running early off the turnover. Nick Nunschwander scores the easy bucket. AC jumps out to an early 8-2 lead. Starfires do answer. James Arnold working the baseline for two. And then you're going to see more from Mr. Arnold, just the man can just do it all, Pete. Yeah. He really can. Well, you know, uh, pretty good football player, but uh, I would say on the basketball court, he can hold his own as well. He sure can. This time, the future Marion University quarterback connects from deep. South Adams rolls 65-56. All right, final stop comes at Lakewood Park. Panthers hosting Bethany Christian this evening. Pick it up early first quarter. 
And this one, all Panthers from the start. The three ball from Levi Hendel. He had 10 on the night. Student sections fired up. And then the rebound from Hendel, able to find Carter Harmon from deep. Panthers take the early seven-point lead. And then later in the first, more from Harmon. Game high, 21 points. And then in the second quarter, defense leading to offense. You're going to see Grant Merkel, the steal. Leads to an easy deuce on the other end. Lakewood Park cruises 50-33, to your final. And it is time for our play of the night. Then it takes us back down to a Boyd's. From one future Big Ten star to another, Purdue commit Fletcher Lawyer feeding Illinois signee Luke Goody for the two-handed flush. That duo combines for a cool 42 points tonight. Homestead moves to 21-0 on the season with a big win over Concordia. Seems like... Uh... Every seems like every week those guys, one of those guys is our yeah. our play of the night. Yeah, it's just it's it, what happens when you're twenty one and out. Yeah.